fluidical and electrical integration. So this is, uh, of course, in every uh, microfluidic uh, uh, system a, a very critical issue. And we are using solid state nanopore arrays for biochemical sensing. And that's a new principle which uh, uh, offers uh, a sensitivity which uh, should be superior to the uh, currently existing ones. Uh, so what is the motivation? So the worldwide mortality statistics is very well known. Uh, in the first uh, two uh, places, uh, worldwide cardiovascular and cerebrovascular diseases are uh, found, uh, and after that, infectious diseases. In Hungary, the first is, of course, cardiovascular disease, uh, the second is cancer, and the third one is the, the stroke. Anyway, uh, the uh, number of cases is so high that we would like to have a high throughput, fast, and cheap analytical solution, which, is, which can be used on, on the spot on site. Uh, bioanalytical systems uh, uh, are, of course, multiparametric tests for the detection of antibody DNA and marker proteins, as we have heard it, uh, so that uh, we, we uh, aimed in this ENIAC uh, project, uh, the European Large Consortium project, uh, to form chip architectures by joint associated labs for European diagnostics. Uh, I will present part of uh, the achieved uh, results. Uh, why did we select cardiac failure? Because this is a, a very appropriate uh, way to show uh, the uh, usefulness of this system, although we are uh, working on a platform which can be used also for different other uh, situations. So uh, the markers which, which appear in cardiologic uh, 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 problems uh, so are uh, shown here. Uh, according to the time delay of, of uh, their concentration uh, changes. And uh, uh, we see that the troponin uh, I and T are the mostly uh, used uh, markers for, for uh, studying these uh, cases. Of course, there are point of care diagnostic devices available in the market. Uh, we can see that these are uh, mostly tabletop devices, but also palm top devices are available. However, uh, they use uh, either uh, uh, surface uh, plasma resonance or optical labeling or electrochemical situations uh, solutions. Uh, what we are going to use is a label-free method, uh, which is uh, actually uh, one of the requirements uh, for, for uh, uh, being a platform. Uh, with the extreme sensitivity, which uh, is uh, uh, equal with nanoscale transducers, and uh, uh, we would like to enable multiplexing, of course, also. So let's uh, look at the sensor technology. So the operational principle is uh, shown here in this uh, movie. So actually we have got a, we have got a membrane with uh, nanopores and uh, the, the two compartments on both sides of the membrane are separated. Uh, and the electrolyte from one side containing the uh, specimen uh, is uh, flowing through the, through the holes, provided they, they can uh, be vetted. And, uh, the uh, specimen can block the conduction of uh, ions uh, through, the, through the nanopores, which would uh, be measured as a, a decrease of resistivity between the two parts of the compartment. Uh, so of course, these nanopores have to be uh, created somehow, so this is most of the time a physical method. We are using micro-focused ion beam in an uh, electro-microscopic environment. Uh, you may ask, uh, so what's the probability that, that in this compartment where uh, few molecules are swimming around, uh, that they will uh, uh, get through the hole and uh, uh, somehow block the, the flow? Uh, there were some st theoretical studies and uh, the influencing factors were also investigated. Uh, so if only diffusion was considered, then uh, these, are the, uh, these are the concentrations which can be uh, expected in, in time. Uh, electrical field assistance could uh, enhance uh, the probability of, of uh, getting through the holes and pressure increase also, uh, so that indeed uh, within foreseeable time of a few uh, seconds or, or uh, 100 seconds, so a few minutes, uh, we could uh, detect uh, concentrations, uh, uh, molar concentrations, which uh, theoretically uh, could be sufficient for the, for the diagnosis. Uh, now, uh, this I have shown already, so I think uh, uh, 
I just have to mention here that, of course, if you want to have specificity, then we have to decorate somehow the surface of the uh, pore, internal surface of the pore, and the functionalization uh, should be done by the receptors, which are just specific for the for the targeted species. Uh, the structure of materials. So we are talking about a, a, a relatively thin, a large membrane, which has to be uh, drilled. Uh, and in order to enhance the uh, parallelicity and, and uh, to reduce the time, we of course uh, use a multiple number of, of uh, nanopores. Uh, the uh, well-known uh, tension and compression uh, combinations have to be applied in order to achieve a low stress membrane, uh, which can support uh, the uh, drilling uh, by the focused ion beam. And uh, these are some studies in this regard. Uh, we have to use uh, uh, gold in order to uh, get the chemistry which uh, we are interested in. Uh, this is the drilling of the holes. Uh, and you can see that uh, uh, multiplicity can be uh, automatically uh, prepared in the, in the membranes within a few minutes. Uh, let's go to the next one. Uh, the point is that uh, we have to have uh, a gold inside of the uh, drilled uh, nanopore, uh, and this uh, gold surface will be functionalized with the uh, with the uh, receptors. Uh, here we use uh, TR chemistry, uh, silane chemistry we have seen also before for for silicon nitride layers, but that is that is not our uh, goal. Uh, although we tried both, and the uh, dwell time dependencies are, are shown on the on the left side. Uh, however, this is not so not so simple since we also have uh, these uh, horizontal surfaces and we only want to functionalize the nanopore so that those surfaces have to be covered and have to be protected for for functionalization. No. Okay. Uh, this is the uh, cross-sectional view of the uh, drilled nano holes and uh, the nano pores uh, uh, can. Uh, uh, get uh, can be opened up uh, by uh, using uh, uh, a elongated uh, time uh, with the same uh, drilling uh, uh, current, so the dividing of the opening is uh, is below, uh, and uh, we see that uh, uh, the uh, electrolyte is uh, penetrating from from the above uh, side uh, to the bottom side. So finally, the cross section active uh, will be on the bottom. Uh, this was a, a specially uh, prepared uh, specimen uh, uh, for visualization. We filled, it, we filled them up. Now, uh, so that we are going to use a nanopore array. However, the distribution of the holes uh, is, of course, uh, uh, broader or, or narrower, uh, depending on the, on the uh, specificity of the drilling process. Uh, and uh, we can change the uh, main uh, pore diameter by uh, increasing the uh, drilling time. Uh, as uh, I told, we have uh, gold uh, on the top of the of the membrane, and this gold layer is giving the the entrance uh, or the the output opening. Uh, there, the gold layer is, is dark in this cross-sectional picture. However, during uh, during uh, sputtering by uh, gallium uh, or by argon ions, we also coat the surface, the internal surface of the non-gold uh, uh, materials. And this is this black uh, line here, which can be uh, beneficial for the functionalization. Now, these are some uh, uh, target molecules where, where the specific uh, uh, diameter sensors are listed. So that uh, this is just to show that we need to have uh, uh, optimized uh, situation for the different uh, target molecules. And uh, finally, this whole uh, nanopore has to be integrated into a microfluidic device because we want to uh, let uh, the uh, blood enter and then the, the liquid uh, taken out uh, by passing uh, this uh, uh, nanopore. As you can see, so this is a, a complex uh, uh, glass uh, silicon uh, bounded uh, uh, structure uh, with the uh, two separated compartments. So this is the entrance for the upper compartment and this is the uh, bottom. And uh, uh, the microfluidics uh, is done in silicon. However, we have to observe a lot of uh, electrical uh, parasitic effects. 
uh, in order not to get some shunting of the uh, signal by uh, conduction alongside the uh, four walls and the, and the surface. So uh, I cannot go into details because I run out of time. Uh, the, one of the major problems is uh, in uh, nanopores, of course, uh, how do you get the liquid in? So that in order to get uh, the liquid in, uh, we have to uh, use some surfactants. And uh, this is to demonstrate that also in the piping of the, of the uh, microfluidic and also in the, within the nanopore, uh, with the gold-coated uh, uh, surface, the nanopores are, of course, in this gold-coated surface, uh, we get a much, much better wettability if we use some, some surfactants. Uh, I will skip this. Uh, finally, the measurement results are shown here. And if we don't use this passivation of the, of the shunting uh, electrical pass, then we, of course, don't even get the Nyquist uh, curve. Uh, however, if uh, the whole complete system, so you see the size, uh, this is about one euro, uh, with the Hungarian coin, uh, so the size, I mean, not the value, uh, so that if you get these uh, micro uh, channels, then, uh, then uh, you uh, obtain a device which uh, almost uh, uh, is uh, ready to be applied, uh, but uh, before uh, filtration, we get a coverage uh, by the blood cells like this. After filtration, we get uh, the uh, uh, blood cell counting in the Brückel cell, and uh, these are then uh, taken for the biochemical characterization. Uh, don't speak about biofunctionalization, just uh, results here. Uh, Avidin measurements were taken as, as a reference, and uh, we have uh, here the uh, findings. So the pore diameter is approximately 50 uh, nanometer with uh, 64 points, and we can see the uh, concentration dependent uh, uh, dependent uh, reading of the uh, uh, of the impedance curve uh, after uh, certain uh, times, 0, 20 minutes, and 10 hours, so that the system works and the saturation can even be avoided. This I will avoid. This is the system integration, a pan top size uh, electronic device. And these are finally the goals and the uh, final results uh, of the project, which then uh, is, uh, of course, uh, object for further, further uh, development. Fast diagnosis within 15 minutes uh, uh, was the target. We have uh, 3 to 18 minutes. Uh, we have a multiplex capacity. Six channels were shown on this uh, device. Uh, low cost is not yet achieved completely. Uh, autonomous operation is partly achieved, and we see that uh, we have uh, certain red points where we still uh, uh, have to improve something. Uh, and the point is that uh, uh, the project is uh, going on, and if you are interested in more information, so please uh, refer to this website. Thank you very much.